Again, I'm not the biggest fan of Ezra Miller, either as an actor or a human being in general. And again, I'm not saying one way or another that it's definitely he, not he. In the 15 seconds of video that surfaced on Twitter that looked like he's choking a female fan at a bar in Iceland. We only have 15 seconds of video to go off of. We don't know what happened before the video. We don't know what happened after the video. Exactly. Ezra Miller has not said anything. Warner Brothers has not said anything. And the original tweet was deleted. So... All we have to go off of is speculation. Hello, this is Mara Jade, and I'm here with another video. And again, the rumor mill is churning around the Flash film, but not in a good way. And I found this article I'm bounding into comics entitled The Flash Rumor Warner Brothers Could Dump Ezra Miller and Abandon the Project Altogether. So, I don't know how exactly I feel about this. On one hand, I was never a fan. I mean, like I said, have him as an actor, but. Specifically of The Flash, I was never a fan of his performance. I did not like how Barry Allen in particular was portrayed. But at the same time, I would have loved to see a Flash film because growing up, my dad's two favorite superheroes were Green Lantern and The Flash. So I grew up knowing this character pretty much my entire life. He's second to Batman, who is my all-time favorite. So I would, again, have loved to see a Flash film, a proper Flash film. But now... We might not get it. So I have no idea. It was supposed to be, according to the rumor mill, a utilizing Flashpoint, which would have essentially been a soft reboot. And how that w would affect the DCEU, I don't know. And now we definitely don't know if this rumor ends up being true. So I'm going to go into this article and give my two cents on the rumor surrounding this. So anything, I don't know what to take of this. I really don't. All right. Things aren't looking good. The Flash, off delayed, and starring Ezra Miller, could be in jeopardy. Warner Brothers might cut ties with Miller after the video of the actor choking a fan in Iceland surfaced online and was authenticated. Now, I looked into um, a search for news accounts of the incident itself recent, and I did not see anything to indicate that it was definitely authenticated. Again, Warner Bros. has not come out and said anything. Ezra Miller has not come out and said anything. So the only authentication we've really seen is the bar itself, the patrons itself. So really that's, I don't necessarily want to say it's hearsay, but that's their version of the story. We're going and getting one side. Not trying to defend Ezra Miller if that's in fact he in the video, but at the same time, I'm not about to grab my uh, for pitchfork and torch and storm the castle like the outraged mobs that are calling for his head are doing right now. Basically, what I'm saying is calm down, wait until all the details come out before you decide to get outraged. All I'm saying. All right. Mikey Sutton of Facebook Scoop fame says a source of his at Warner relayed the choking incident, quote, sends shockwaves throughout the company and they are investigating. Again, sources. I mean, like, we're only going off of third-party sources at this point. So, I have no idea how valid this Mikey Sutton of Facebook Scoop fame is. I had never even heard of it until I just read that sentence. So, again, I'm not about to grab my pitchfork and torch. Everything should depend on what the studio uncovers, but the focus of internal discussions is canceling the Flash movie altogether. Many executives, though wanting to hold on to certain things Zack Snyder introduced that they liked by softly rebooting their DC movies, weren't crazy about making the film in the first place. Additionally, they are weary of keeping Miller on due to bad publicity, haunting the movie and appearances in the future. However, Warner Brothers is taking the process slowly because of the COVID-19 pandemic, so a decision won't be made right away. The future looks dim for The Flash, regardless, said Sutton. Again, third-party source. We have no idea how valid this is. We have no idea about the sources he's apparently using. But again, you know, we're not hearing anything from Warner Brothers. Now, could this be happening? Absolutely. Because again, that could be the video of Ezra Miller choking a fan, which would be bad publicity for the studio. And the Flash movie, if the rumors were true, was going to be a soft reboot for the DC films. The current DC films, the DCEU films. So, what's going to happen at this point? Don't know. Warner Brothers has not commented on the matter, and there is no word yet either on how the controversy will affect Fantastic Beasts 3, which was also struck with delays and is caught up in an, another scandal, the illegal spat between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Amber Heard, who, by the way, could be facing jail time. 
Sutton emphasized this scoop is coming from one lone source allegedly within the studio. Again, allegedly within the studio. Normally he talks to a few sources first, but he made an exception this time. I don't know why. Below is his post. I'm not going to go into it. I'm going to post a link to this article in the description. You can read it for yourself. Okay, over on YouTube, TVO of Lords of the Long Box also covered the story. He mentioned Miller was intoxicated and bragging about scars from fights he has been in before putting his hands on the woman's throat. Again, like my video before this where I talk about the incident, really Ezra Miller, I could take you. TVO also shared his opinion that Miller's Flash is skittish and uber nerdy and Warner Brothers should replace him with Grant Gustin who is more confident and has a better grasp on the character, which I would agree with. Again, I did not like the performance, the Flash performance in the film. Not necessarily his acting performance, but how they portrayed the character, particularly Barry Allen. Again, I grew up with the character and that's not how Barry Allen acts. And from what I've seen of Grant Gustin, I would have loved to have seen him in a Flash film. Even using Flashpoint, I wouldn't care at this point because he seems, from what I've watched, again, I did not go uh, too far into the uh, series, I only watched maybe one or two really clips, but he has a firm grasp of the character itself. And I have no idea what Warner Bros. is going to do. If they, What I think they should do, if they do dump Ezra Miller, keep the Flash film, do it as a flashpoint, bring in Grant Gustin. Problem solved. Watch that take here. Alright. Much like in the case of Amber Heard, Change.org petitions for the removal of Ezra Miller from Flash and for Gustin taking his place were started. Again, the outrage mob at work. I don't like it from either side, especially before all the details have come out. Especially, they're working on entirely on emotion. Again, I'm not saying anything po necessarily positive about the actor. It's himself. If that's he in the video, he's a scumbag. And again... It's up to Warner Bros. if they want to fire him or not. It's really... I don't like boycotts. I don't like petitions. I really don't like those. Now, you really want to hit Warner Brothers where it counts? Don't go see the film. If they do decide to keep Ezra Miller, don't go see the film. Shut your wallet. That's what studios understand. They don't pay attention to petitions. They really don't. Especially not on Change.org. There's been quite a few of the latter in recent years thanks to Zack Snyder's work. Um, I am part of the release of Snyder Cut crowds, but never sign a petition, anything like that. I just tweet about it on, on my uh, Twitter page, and anybody who's known me knows that fact. Another rumor states they might supplant Barry Allen with Wally West in The Flash, but that predates Miller's current woes. Again, I, I, I would more like to see the introduction of Grant Gustin. Um, in the Flash film. Somehow, um, do it, like, you know, as I said, like a Flashpoint film, kind of a soft reboot, but not, but have it as Barry Allen, not Wally West. But at any rate, that's the article. Again, it's just rumor. It's just speculation. Warner Bros. has not come out and said anything. Ezra Miller has not come out and done an apology tour, if that is he. It's su suspicious all around, like I said. We're only getting details, third-party details, from the patrons at the bar, Nothing substantiated right now. But at any rate, what do you think of this? Do you think that's he in the video? Do you think it's not he in the video? Are you waiting to see all the details like I am about this? Do you think that they should dump Ezra Miller or not? Let me know down in the comments below. Would you like to see Grant Gustin replace him? Possibly do the Flashpoint film and like my idea and bring in Grant Gustin. But at any rate, sorry, I'm rambling at this point. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments all answers to all those questions if you want to. Share it on social media. I might do a live stream tonight. I have not decided yet. It'll probably be for 9 p.m. Eastern. But if I don't, you can catch me on Orange Hat Reviews live stream. The Versus stream uh, Friday evening, I believe at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be Goku versus Superman. And then catch me on Saturday evening. Time to be determined for the Nerdy and the Lethal live stream I do with Lethal Lightning. Where I'm going to combine that with the birthday stream. Because Friday is my birthday. So, yay me. Falls on Good Friday. But what are you going to do? At any rate, this is Mara Jade, and I'll catch you on the dark side. Take care.